in the IELTS speaking test, particularly in parts two and three, a good way to extend your responses is to talk about the situation in the past, the situation in the present, and the situation in the future. In part three, the examiner might ask you to talk about how something has changed over time, from the past until now. Or you may be asked to give your opinion about what might be true in the future. This means that you should be able to use a variety of different verb forms to talk about the past, the present or the future. These verb forms might include present simple, past simple, present perfect or future forms such as will and going to. Let's start with an example of how a candidate compares and uses a variety of tenses to describe changes in parenting over time. OK then, you've been talking about a child you know, and I'd just like to ask you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's talk about parents firstly. What, in your view, is the role of parents in raising children? The role of parents? Well, I think that parents have a vital role. Children learn everything from their parents. They watch what their parents do and say and they learn from this. So parents should be aware of this. They are an example to their children. I see. So has this role changed in recent years? You mean the role of parents? Yes. Yes, I think parents' roles have changed. For one thing, 50 years ago, not many mothers worked, but now they do. In the past, mothers stayed home and raised the children while fathers worked, but things are different now. Did you notice how this candidate used some different verb forms, like present simple, past simple and present perfect, while giving her opinion about parenting? For example, she said, I think that parents have a vital role. What tense is that? That's right, it's the present simple tense. She's using present simple here to talk about something that is generally true. She also said, I think parents' roles have changed. Here she used present perfect to show that the situation has changed from the past until now. And notice how she said, 50 years ago, not many mothers worked. Because she was talking about a time in the past, she used the past simple tense. In the discussion part of the speaking test, you may be asked to speculate or predict. In other words, you may be asked to give your opinion about what might be true in the future. Let's look at an example of how a candidate uses future forms to give her opinion on the future of shopping. So you've said that shopping has changed uh, quite a bit in recent years. Um, what about the future? Um, what do you think shopping will be like in the future? In the future? Well, I guess shopping will continue to change. For one thing, I'm sure that there will be more online shopping. I mean, using the internet to shop. People will shop from home using their computers or mobile devices. That's already happening now, so it will probably increase in my opinion. Here are some structures that you can use when talking about the future. Each phrase can be followed by a subject, such as shopping, then will plus another verb, and then the rest of your sentence. For example, you can say, it may well be that shopping will become much easier in the future. Listen to each phrase to hear how it is pronounced. You can listen and repeat to practice your pronunciation of these phrases. It may well be that. It could well be that. It might well be that. It's quite possible that. I think that. I imagine that, I expect that, I'm sure that, perhaps, maybe, I guess, I suppose, I doubt whether. 
Choose one or two phrases that you feel comfortable with and practice them with different topics. Your ability to use English grammar accurately and effectively is important in the IELTS speaking test. If you lack confidence in your grammar, why not brush up on your knowledge by working through an English grammar book? Or if you prefer, try an app or an online course.